feeling really weird right now because um, I'm really late and um, I'm going to take a pregnancy test. Last month, um, I guess sometime in October, I know I vlogged about it but I didn't post it and I thought I was pregnant lately for the, like a year. Whenever I have my cycle, I feel pregnant. You know, I have the same symptoms so I don't really get surprised if I feel all the typical things you feel when you're pregnant. I need to switch, my arm's burning. But um, I'm really late and I've been so stressed out and I've been a little depressed that I haven't been paying attention. So I have an app and on the app it says that I, um, a couple days ago it said that I'm like a week late. Then it was 10 days late. Then it was like, you know. Now um, I decided to go to the store and um, I went to the store with John and the kids and I had to kind of sneak. And you saw that on the one of our blogs. We went to go buy birthday presents, but I decided to get a pregnancy test and um, I don't want to say anything about it. I'm actually about to cry now because I felt the same way I felt um, when I had a miscarriage before the time before I had Jace. You feel kind of weird, so I'm kind of like, <sighs> so I'm holding my breath. So I'm about to take a pregnancy test and then if need be, I'm gonna have to call my doctor to have them do an ultrasound to make sure everything's okay. You know, if I am pregnant, this isn't, you know, my time, my timing, but you know, I even know it's not about my timing, it's about God. You know, I do want to try for a little girl, you know, um, so, Whatever will be, will be, but I am about to take this test right now and and see. You know, I don't feel emotionally and mentally ready, but I know God knows, so we'll see. These things are so tricky, but it's looking like it's saying pregnant. It basically immediately turned when I peed on it. <laughs> but, um... To be sure, I'm still going to go to the, the doctor and have them confirm it. And I want to go before I tell John. Um, the last time, like I said, I felt this way. I miscarried. And that was the time before I had Jace. And I just remember all that like pain. So I want to really make sure um, everything's okay before I say something. I'm going to see if they can get me in as soon as possible. And it'll be like a birthday surprise because he, he just turned... 35 so I guess it'll be like a present but I want to make sure before I go and get his hopes up so the last time um, I was pregnant and I miscarried I had blighted ovum which is when your body basically gets pregnant but it miscarries but your body continues the pregnancy um, you really should look it up um, it was a trip so basically my body was pregnant but there was no baby in the sack um, and so that was real hard to deal with and so I don't want um a repeat of that i know they said that that's only you know a once in a million to get it again but i want to make sure before i say anything so um i'm gonna call the doctor now and see if they have any openings for this week my baby oh i say hold hold on the mommy she's driving driving crazy hey guys huh <laughs> i know you want that baby I'm on the way to my doctor's appointment right now. Um, they're gonna do a confirmation of the pregnancy. And like I mentioned before, um, because I had the blighted ovum, I want them to make sure um, something's in there this time. I still wanna go around telling people and getting people's hopes up if it's nothing. And that's what I did last time. I ended up telling people and then, um, I, I really didn't tell anyone outside of my family. And then I ended up miscarrying, so I'm glad I didn't tell, like, friends and anything like that. Even, like, some of the extended family, I didn't tell them. Um, I just kind of had it. So, this time, I have to admit I am a little paranoid about that. So, uh, hopefully, um, I'm going to see the nurse practitioner and they'll do, like, the blood work, the um, urine test, and then... If I can, I hope they do like an ultrasound. So I don't know if they'll will do that for me or not. Because my doctor's pretty cool. I haven't seen her obviously in two years. <laughs> but uh, I hope she will let me do that. So anyway, say hi Jace. <laughs> hi Jace. You having a good day? Yeah. You gonna go to doctor with mommy? Say doctor. 
Good job, doctor. doctor. My doctor hasn't seen the baby since he was born. So usually, he's so funny. This will be my third, well, I guess like fourth Good. pregnancy, but um, hopefully this one will be okay. But um, she's all, I always come back with like another baby and then she sees the one that she delivered before. Like, she's a really, really cool lady. So I like her a lot. <laughs> Little crazy thing. I just did my urine sample. Chase didn't want to stay with the nurse, so he went back there with me. So cute. And he watched me do it, like clean the cup, and he goes, Ew, nasty. <laughs> At least he knows better, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. He Where know. are you going, little one? Stop it. Stop. No, he, he doesn't know. <laughs> okie dokie. This is, and it's his birthday. Oh, today? Huh? It's a week ago. Yeah. So he's getting his present, right? Is Daddy getting his present? Yeah, that's a nice present. See, you weren't here the last time I came. No. You ready? <laughs> You're in my stomach. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty, so first day of last period was... October 7th, correct? Yes. I like it. And pregnancy test is positive. Awesome. I like Do you want to see? Yeah. Okay. It's positive. Yeah, that's Two cool. Two lines. Awesome. Alrighty. That's good, right? Yes. Okay. So based on Mama. the first day of last period, you are six weeks to date oh. on the dot. Oh, oh, snap. Okay. Which gives you a due date of July 14th, 2016. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God for YouTube. I'm waiting for my exam. When is the, the nurse practitioner come in and do my public exam? I don't want him in here. <laughs> Wish he doesn't. Oh, oh for me, he'll go to a nurse or something. Right now, he's doing good. All right, guys. Um, so my exam went very well. Um, she said that everything kind of looked like it was supposed to be uterus, all that weird stuff. But um, as of right now, everything is good. I can't breathe. I'm short of breath already. Um, I'm scheduled for a ultrasound in two weeks by my doctor. I went and saw the nurse practitioner, but my doctor will actually do my exam in two weeks. So... By then, they said they'll know what's going on. So, um, it, but it's very weird having this secret like to myself, you know. So I'm still uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to tell John on Friday um, when his birthday present comes, or like what I'm gonna do. And if so, if I'm gonna tell him like how, you know. Um, I know he he will be very very happy because. He's wanted um, a baby. He really wants a little girl. And um, he want, he's been wanting a baby for over a year. So this is, for, for him will just be amazing. Like when I first met him, he wanted six kids. So um, for him, the more the merrier. For me, I'm the one that's more cautious on the kids and everything. But um. James is bothering me about Jay's pooping. I'm gonna get to him. Um, but other than like right now, um, everything, you know, I just feel really weird about everything. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm like, hey, Lord, whatever your will is, you know, it's not like I said my time. But if it was up to me, I would never do anything. So I'm just like, okay, Lord whatever you, you know so um but yeah so um right now it's basically a secret and um i'm gonna figure out when to tell him because he's first you know and how how i'm gonna tell him so uh yeah we'll see but thank god everything's okay i'll talk to you guys later bye My story.